आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड इज एवर विटनेस ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रगल एवरी डे In today's episode we remember revolutionary freedom fighter Atul Krishna Ghosh who died on the 4th of May 1966 Atul Krishna was associated with the Jugantar group and Anushilan Samiti he was closely associated with the great revolutionary freedom fighter Bagha Jatin Atul Krishna was born in 1890 in Nadia district now in Bangladesh While studying in his final year of graduation at Presidency College Kolkata he got associated with Bagha Jatin and joined the Anushilan Samiti he along with Jatin founded the revolutionary organization Pathuriya Ghat Abhyayam Samiti Following his arrest and release in the Havra conspiracy case Bagha Jatin suspended activities and left Kolkata in 1911 under the responsibility of Atul Krishna As an organizer Atul Krishna sheltered revolutionaries later A few members of the Anushilan Samiti formed a new branch of the Seva Samiti under Atul Krishna Ghosh. During this time Atul Krishna maintained contact with many revolutionaries including Rash Bihari Bose, Gurdeep Singh, Tarak Nath Das and other Komagata Maru patriots. Humne jab vaade ye gurbat mein kadam rakha tha दूर तक याद वतन आई थी समझाने को At the beginning of the First World War Atul Krishna Ghosh and Bagha Jatin tried to obtain weapons in Germany and launch a revolution against British rule However the British authorities became aware of the situation and attacked Balasore where the weapons were to be delivered Bagha Jatin was martyred during the operation the death of Bagha Jatin left Atul Krishna shattered he was arrested in 1924 and released after 2 years Atul Krishna passed away on the 4th of May 1966 we salute this great indian we also remember freedom fighter kasamaballi chingalaraya reddy who was born on the 4th of May 1902 in kolar district karnataka Reddy is recognized for his role in replacing the Maharaja's rule with a stable government in the princely state of Mysore. After independence, Reddy became the first chief minister of the Mysore state. The state was considerably enlarged in 1956 when it became a linguistically homogeneous Kannada speaking state within the Union of India and was subsequently renamed as the state of Karnataka. Reddy was a revolutionary from a very young age. He founded the Prajapaksha after graduating from law school in 1930. The party's main aim was to install a stable government in the princely state of Mysore and support the cause of farmers. The organization soon joined forces with the Prajamitra Mandali and united as the Praja Samyukta Paksha or Mysore People's Federation in 1934. KC Reddy served as the president of the Mysore People's Federation from 1935 to 1937. After 1937, the federation joined forces with the Indian National Congress in the fight for freedom. Reddy also led the Mysore Congress as its president. He served as a member of the Constituent Assembly of India. After the independence of India in 1947, Reddy was at the forefront of the Mysore Chalo movement, seeking a responsible state government in Mysore state and went on to become the first chief minister of the state. This is all in Radio Bangalore and Bhadravati. Sri K C Reddy speaks on Gandhi ji and independence. Many countries gained their independence before and some later than India did. But what is remarkable about Indian independence is that it was achieved by non-violent means 
instead of resorting to violence. This aspect of Indian independence will ever be enshrined in the temple of history as unique and deserving of homage and adoration. After his term as Chief Minister, he was elected to be a member of the Mysore Legislative Assembly in 1952. Subsequently, he served as a member of the Rajya Sabha from 1952 to 1957 and as a member of the Lok Sabha representing Kolar from 1957 to 1962. Reddy also served as the Governor of Madhya Pradesh from 1965 to 1971. Till his death in 1976, Reddy continued to serve the people. We salute the great Indian. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.